Evening, evening, Patriots. It's me again, Shannon Fox here at the Patriots 2 channel, and I have got lots of good news for you, including some breaking news coming out of Pennsylvania. You know the shenanigans they've been pulling in Pennsylvania for a whole minute to still count the votes, still counting ballots that don't have a the right date or any date or any post uh, postmarks on them. Those are the ones they're trying to count, what we call the illegal votes. That's what they're trying to count. As a matter of fact, in Bucks County the other day, the Democratic commissioner there uh, decided she just doesn't care about the law. And uh, if you haven't seen that, I think I did put this clip out uh, earlier in the week. We're going to play it, and we uh, I'll read a little bit to you past that. We've actually got some immediate resolution to get it all taken care of. What they're trying to do is they're trying to steal the uh, Senate race from a guy named uh, Mr. McCormick. The race is pretty close, and they figure if they keep counting eventually, uh, keep counting long enough, they'll eventually uh, get the votes for the Democrats. You know how it goes. You know what they do. It says uh, Democrat Commissioner Diane Marcia Glia and Bob Harvey voted today to count illegal ballots. This was uh, yesterday, or the day, actually, it was a couple of days ago, uh, in PA Supreme Court ruling. Uh, against PA Supreme Court ruling, Supreme Court and the state already told them they couldn't do this. They said, we're going to do it anyway. And uh, let me go ahead and just play this clip for you, give you a little bit of backstory. We reject all three categories of these ballots. You, your, your motion is to reject or dismiss the challenges uh, in this category in front of you? Correct, yep. I'm not going to second wow. that, mostly because I think we all know that precedent by a court doesn't matter anymore in this country. And people violate laws anytime they want. So for me, if I violate this law, it's because I want a court to pay attention to it. Wow. Good excuse as any to be a criminal. <clears throat> now, this lady is going to be held accountable. I do have to believe that she is probably going to go to jail before this is over. Uh, she needs to uh, for just the way they're trying to manipulate the system. Anybody that's pulling these shenanigans... It's going to get in trouble. As a matter of fact, if you stick around, I have a video or I have an article of a couple of people that are in serious trouble, included, including being charged for none other than voter fraud here in this current election in 2024, happening in real time, folks. So stick around. It says the RNC immediately filed two lawsuits. Mr. Whiteley, Michael Whiteley, and uh, Laura Trump filed lawsuits last week to stop the counting of these votes. You know, everybody else is just about done counting. 90% uh, of the states have counted. We've only got like California and Arizona and Pennsylvania for some reason wanting to still count votes. You know what's going on. It says after the RNC filed two uh, motions, uh, which were lawsuits last week, to stop the counting, uh, the uh, Dave McCormick said, let's be clear, he has won the race, Bob Casey has lost, and uh, that's what Mr. McCormick says. It says, after the RNC took legal action, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court on Monday ruled again that undated ballots cannot be counted. Why do they have to rule on it twice? They'd already ruled on it once. McCormick Casey recount update. Following our latest RNC lawsuit today, Pennsylvania Supreme Court ruled yet again Undated ballots cannot be counted. No more excuses. Election officials in Bucks, Montgomery, Philadelphia, and other counties have absolutely no choice but to mind the law now. It says, according to Bucks County GOP, the Bucks uh, County Board of Elections will comply on Monday, Monday's Pennsylvania Supreme Court order and will not count undated and misdated ballots. The illegal votes will be moved from counties Vote totals according to the county GOP. That's good to know. Got it done in real time, folks. That's what I'm talking about. And the Bucks County GOP says, we just confirmed with our attorneys that the Bucks County Co County Board of Elections will comply today. And uh, all the stuff will be removed. Uh, all these ones that are non-valid, they've been trying to count for the last several days. Those will be kicked out as well. That's the icing on the cake for that one. So I'd bring all that this broke this afternoon. It's huge good news. Uh, it means they're done cheating in Pennsylvania for the year. That's what that means. Now, I've got several things to bring to y'all. Uh, it's mostly short stuff, so just stick around. 
Hopefully everybody's having a great day. Um, what happened was, let me tell you this first. Miss McConnell is behind closed doors whispering in people's ears uh, and finally come out, had the balls enough to come out today and say that he would not or he would not go for recess appointments. Well, he's not going to have his job for very much longer as the uh, as the leader, considering um, we're fixing to take it over in a month or two anyway. But we need to get these people confirmed immediately. But obviously, Mitch McConnell delivers a message to President Trump about the recess appointments. He says there will be no recess appointments. What old Dirty Mitch says. I got a worse name for him, but Mike Scott says, oh, there will be. Rick, or Rick Scott said, I say, said, oh, there definitely will be, Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell did, in fact, make a, a comment yesterday, which was first revealed by the New Yorker, who reported subsequently deleted her, her tweet, indicating he'd oppose recess appointments. Well, I got a solution to all that. Breaking, President Trump is personally calling GOP senators to inform them they must vote to confirm Matt Gates as Attorney General. Senator Kevin Kramer said Trump was very persuasive. He clearly wants Matt Gates. He believes Matt Gates is the one person who who will be fearless and ferocious, really do what he needs done to the department. Yeah, Trump's hiring headhunters. There's no doubt about it for the border, for the government, for the FCC, for the hell. Trump's hiring headhunters, no doubt about it. Uh, one thing about Donald Trump, people should never confuse his support for one of his nominees as a tactical or strategic tool for somebody else, or at least, or at least to this point, he's putting his own political capital behind it, and he's a pretty persuasive guy. Senator Kramer said, "Attorney General Matt Gates will happen one way or another." That's what I'm talking about, and I believe that. I believe there's more than one way to skin this cat if necessary. Uh, there's actually a couple of ways. That, Trump, that um they can do a recess. If you don't know what I'm talking about when I say recess appointment, when the Senate is basically not not there to do their job or taking the day off, as they do all the time, Trump can basically push us through. That's the way I understand it. Uh, they don't have to be there. As a matter of fact, if you if you have both chambers uh, not there, either if the Senate's not there because that's all we really need for confirmation. But if both chambers are not there. Uh, Trump can get it done, or if Mike Johnson or the Senate leader uh, decide they want to put it up, they can. Uh, it's going to be a little contesting uh, at first. It's almost going to be like another election. We're going to have RFK and Matt Gates and Tulsi Gabbard. They're going to be grilling them about sexual allegations and anything else they can come up with, uh, because there's definitely some Mitch McConnell's and John Cornyn's and those types that hate Matt Gates. Because of what he did to Kevin McCarthy, and they're scared uh, for the way they've treated Trump and have been a part of this whole deep state um, coup against our up and coming president. And so, a lot of people not only don't want to lose their the money they're making off China on the side deals with the lobbyists and the military industrial complex and big pharma, because that's all fixing to get cut short in a hurry. They all hating on that, but. More than anything, they don't want Trump to be an effective president. That way they can still get away with a lot. And the people Trump's putting in, like Matt Gates, terrifies the crap out of them because uh, Gates ain't going to put up with it. Give him a little power, and uh, I believe he'll do the right thing. I can tell by his, his passion, uh, just listening to him in Congress. He, he wants to fix his country. He's uh, actually one of the better lawyers we have in Congress as far as I'm concerned. This is breaking it. An election worker in Hubbard County, Minnesota. This actually happened yesterday. Just has been arrested and charged with two felony counts for eleven for allowing eleven unregistered people to vote in twenty twenty four. Wonder who they were. His name is Timothy Scounton, and he is facing up to five years in prison and a hefty fine. Scounton explicitly directed and non-registrants not to use the registration forms. I wonder how often this sort of thing happens and doesn't get caught. You know what this tells me? 
this tells me that people, this is the first case I've seen of anybody going to jail behind this election. I don't know, I don't know, an election judge. Maybe this is just the beginning. Maybe this is a warning shot. Maybe this is for those people that are still trying to pull shenanigans in uh, this current election. Uh, what they did to Carrie Lake in Arizona. I hope they prosecute the hell out of those people. Just my opinion, folks. Just in some serious trouble for letting Minnesotans vote illegally. Investigators say that the head election judge in Hubbard County allowed 11 unregistered voters. Election judge. Damn. Voters to cast ballots on election day. Voters can register the day of the election, but this judge didn't make them fill out the paperwork. A judge is now charged with two felonies. The maximum penalty is 10 years in prison, up to $20,000 in fines. And an election judge is... Okay. Well, he did it on purpose. It was definitely malicious intent. Throw the book at him. And every other election crook you find, I don't care if they're on the left or the right, if you're, if you're manipulating uh, the election, you need to be put in jail. Uh, no doubt about it. Uh, just because our vote is too important to be played with and stolen by other people. We're going right on down the list. We're moving right along today, folks. One of the craziest things I've seen all year is Mika and Joe. I'm talking about the Morning Joe MSDNC show. They showed up at Mar-a-Lago, and they're kissing Trump's ass now. They're kissing the ring. I think because the ratings are down between 40 and 50 percent, not just MSDNC, but CNN and a lot of these left-wing pundits after Trump uh, created a landslide victory. I'm going to call it an avalanche. Because it ain't going to stop till we get to the bottom of this crap. This avalanche victory. Um, they're coming around. I, I don't think it's because they like him. Because a week ago, or two weeks ago, he was a racist and uh, a threat to democracy. This week, they're trying to buddy up with him. It must be, it must be the ratings. Now we want to get along. But at least... Um, I give them the satisfaction to know that as much as I hate their show, I do appreciate that they're going to try to do something to maybe be less of an asshole to Trump. Maybe instead of talk about him, talk to him. Uh, Trump declares he will de declare a national emergency on immigration and will allow the military to start mass deportations. Now, he didn't say it, but it says, good news reports are incoming at real Donald Trump administration prepared to declare a national emergency and will use military assets to reverse the Biden invasion through a mass deportation program. And Trump tweets, true. That was uh, Tom Fenton from Judicial Watch. That's the good stuff right there, folks. That's why he's got Mr. Holman and Stephen Miller. They're going to take care of that. Mr. Holman's going to be his borders are. Yeah, he's putting headhunter and all headhunters in all these top positions. Matter of fact, uh, his incoming FCC chair, his name is Brandon Carr. I think yesterday he he put his name out there. This guy says he's going to dismantle big tech censorship cartel. Start starting with Google, YouTube. I hope they fix this place. Uh, he don't really need to do anything to Twitter. It seems to be fine. But Facebook, Instagram, um, the umpteen other left-wing sites, uh, he's going to definitely um, work on preventing them from being able to shadow ban you, uh, have the algorithm beat you up so you can't actually get your videos out there or giving you strikes, taking you off the air. There's a dozen things they do in the name of censorship. And... Uh, He's going to go after it. He's going to stop it. He's going to uh, put these big tech companies in such a bind financially uh, with fines and things if they try to censor people and make it public knowledge. Uh, they're going to have to quit. Or he will uh, find a way to revoke their uh, 230 status, Section 230 status, which would basically put them back into being a publisher and making them liable for everything that comes across their platforms, which they could not survive like that.
So I'm glad to see that Trump put this guy in here. I don't know him from Adam, but I have everything I've heard about him and read about him today. Um, he's the right man for the job. He is going to do his best uh, to fix what is broken with the uh, FC FCC, mainstream media, and, of course, big tech. I love it. I love it. I told you it was good news today, folks. Lots of good news. Here's another drop of some good news. Panic DOJ and FBI officials are hiring criminal defense lawyers ahead of Trump's return, including Jack Smith. He is one of the ones that definitely need to be lawyered up. Matter of fact, Mike Davis and uh, Mike Benz, Stephen Miller, several of Trump's uh, appointees, uh, inner circle, uh, great lawyers, have been telling these people, you better been, been been sending a letter to these people. You better keep your uh, things in order. You better not destroy any evidence. And you might need the lawyer up. That's because you know what's coming. People like Merrick Garland, I think there's no way around it. His ass got to go to jail. Just my opinion, folks. But um, people like Millie need to be, General Millie need to be court-martialed. And people like this guy don't need to just be fired uh, for their mal malicious intent to destroy this country, uh, leaving the border wide open, lying before Congress, um, colluding with the Chinese, uh, promoting a war. There's a dozen things that I could think of for Blinken, Mayorkas, and the other clowns at the top. Rachel Levine, military general in a, a dude in a dress. Uh, we got to get rid of that stuff, folks. And we don't just got to kick them out of office. Some of these folks, for what they have done to our country and to our president, they need to be held accountable. And I'll just use those words for YouTube's sake. Got one more clip for you folks. And if I hadn't seen this with my own eyes, I would have never believed it. But uh, like I said, I have to believe it for the ratings only. Breaking news, Mika and Joe, Morning Joe and Mika met with Trump at Mar-a-Lago and will now take a new approach to covering his presidency. Yeah, this ain't this ain't about they want to be friends. You better believe that. You can't trust these clowns with any anything at all. They are clowns, I ain't gonna lie to you folks. Check this out. This will be the last video of the day. If you haven't already, everybody hit the thumbs up, all that stuff. Give me a comment in the comment section down below. Tell me what was the good news you thought I, I put out today that was the best. Lots of good news. Somebody close to Donald Trump told me this past weekend, this is a president who's not seeking re-election, so maybe, just maybe, now could be the time for both parties to get to work. I know, I given know, the jarring the headlines, headlines that we read we every read day. Doesn't, no, 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 no. He's going about this all wrong. Trump needs to bend and compromise to work better with the Democrats. No, 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 no. We don't want to do that. Y'all can come on, come, come on over to the, from the dark side. But the Democrat Party, they didn't burn their bridge. I, I don't care if we ever work with the Democrat Party again in Congress. Uh, just for the way they treated this country. That may that seem, may like, seem a stretch, like a stretch, but think, but about, think, this. think about this. Of the 150 of the million, million votes vote cast, cast, Donald, Donald Trump, Trump got 50 percent. Kamala, Kamala Harris, Harris got about, about 49 percent. So I don't so know. I don't know. Seems to make seems sense make for sense leaders of both, both parties, parties to seek to common ground, ground, if it's, it's possible, possible at all. Mm. And I will tell I'll you, tell a you lot of Democratic leaders we've, we've talked, talked to this, this past, past week, week since, since the election, the election have told, told Mika, Mika and me it's, it's time, time for a for new, new approach. approach. And when so I when say I top say Democrats, I mean top Democrats. They said we're open. And this was before we talked to Donald Trump. They said, listen. We're open, We're open to working, working with the incoming, with the incoming president, president if the incoming, if the incoming president, president is open to working with us. with us. Yeah, the yeah. question is, question though, is how, how do we get, do we there? get there? Hyperbole, Hyperbole and personal attacks will not work. My hair on fire <laughs> doesn't work. We've all seen that. 
So they just realized after they looked at their ratings and realized they lost the selection, uh, not they lost the selection due to a lot of things, but one of the factors was is they ostracized half the country into being villains. Uh, we were Nazis, we were garbage, we were deplorables, and the list goes on and on and on. Uh, they they victimized, put themselves to be the victim, and the Trump, the Omega Party, the Trump people, uh, to be evil ogres of some type, and we're not going to forget that tomorrow. Trump's never going to forget that. You got to know, uh, once a snake, always a snake. But um, they're at least kissing ass in order to try to get their ratings back. But if I was Trump, I wouldn't give them the time of day to ever come on their dang show. Never, never, never. Just for the way they've talked shit about him. But more than that, I hope this, will tr this trends in the right direction. And some of these other nutcases... Uh, that hate Trump, that are news correspondents, we'll do the same. We'll realize that calling Trump Hitler for four more years is not going to it's not going to make the Democrat Party or these news pundits any more credible. What also, what also does, does, not, does work not work is threatening is political, political opponents, opponents with arrest, with arrest harassment, harassment, and even jail. jail. If they deserve it, that's okay. That is a, that is failed, a failed path. path. Recent, Recent history, history has proven that, that impeachments and trials, and trials turn those, those on trial into, into political, political martyrs. martyrs. And only oh, so she's actually sticking up for Trump now, saying it was not a good idea to go after Trump because it just backfired on us. At least she's being honest. Probably wouldn't have been a bad idea if it didn't backfire. That's, that's the way they're looking at it. Make them, make them more popular, popular with, the with the American people. people. Just, Just ask, ask Bill, Clinton Bill Clinton and Donald Trump. We know, we know this, will this will be a consequential, a consequential presidency. presidency. The, the question, question is whether, is whether it, will it will be constructive. Be constructive. It, will it will take, take a, new a new approach, approach from, all from all sides, from both from parties, parties and, and a leader who can bring them together. together. And only time will tell if Donald Trump is that leader. As for us, we also let him know that we will continue to speak truth to power and push back hard when called for, as we have with all presidents. Really? Don't be mistaken. We're not here to defend or normalize Donald Trump. We're here to report on him and to hopefully provide you insights that are going to better equip all of us in understanding these deeply unsettling times. And I am reminded of what Marty Baron, legendary editor, told his Washington Post reporters back in the first term. We're not going to war. We're going to work. That's actually the right answer. Uh, I commend them for trying to do this. They don't think that their ratings weren't in the toilet or Trump hadn't won. You would never see these people ever even have a semi-decent gesture towards Trump. But uh, he will definitely be a consequential president. As a matter of fact, he's already been a consequential president and will probably be the most uh, country-altering president we've ever had, most consequential. Uh, not just because of Trump is going to do so much, but because he's got a team of headhunters that are going to do so much. The FCC is going to go after the techies. Elon and Vivek are going to go, go after the government agencies for, for audits and clean up our budget, clean up our spending, maybe fix some of our debt. Uh, we got uh, Mr. Holman and Stephen Miller who are going to head up the, uh, the border, basically the policies and the uh, deportation. Trump said he's going to use the military. Uh, RFK Jr. is going to do his part to fix our food. He's going to take that yellow dye number five and that red dye number five out of our food because it's toxic. Uh, we're the only country in the world that allows that stuff in our food. Uh, so many things like corn syrup is in everything. Uh, we're going to go back to cane sugar and things are probably going to taste a little different at first, but in reality, if it's to better mankind uh, on a health level, I'm all for it. Trump has got, that's just, a, that's just a handful that I mentioned, but Trump has got a hell of a cabinet of people that are movers and shakers. Matt Gates, he's going to come in there and destroy the deep state with help from Congress. I do believe that. 
that's what I got for you today, folks. Hopefully, everybody enjoyed. Uh, very informative, I thought. Uh, at least, at least for uh, the Mika and Joe thing, that just kind of blew my mind to hear that even even for the second time. Still shocking. But uh, tell me what you think, folks. Everybody have a great day. Like, subscribe, and share. Over and out. Thank you.